U.S. troops have begun withdrawing from positions in northern Syria, paving the way for a Turkish operation against Kurdish fighters in the border area. Kurdish-led forces have until now been a key U.S. ally in Syria, where they helped defeat the Islamic State group, but Turkey regards them as terrorists. The main Kurdish-led group called the surprise U.S. move a stab in the back. But President Donald Trump defended the pullout, saying it was time to get out of this ridiculous endless wars. Hundreds of Extinction Rebellion activists have been arrested as protests take place across the globe. 30 people were charged with committing offences in Sydney after hundreds blocked the road, while more than 100 were arrested in Amsterdam. Demonstrations have taken place in countries including Germany, Spain, Austria, France and New Zealand. Protests by climate change activists are expected in some 60 cities over the next two weeks. The group is also causing disruption in London, where more than 130 people were arrested on Monday. Tens of thousands of protesters marched through central Hong Kong, wearing face masks in defiance of a law which bans them from hiding their faces. Under the law, protesters risk a year in prison for wearing masks. Protesters chanted, Fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong, as riot police monitored them from overhead walkways and footbridge, some taking photographs and filming the marchers. Police fired tear gas in several places in the city, but there were no obvious signs of clashes. Protesters ignored the gas, spreading gas canister with water or throwing them back at police. And that's it on The World Today.